Now that all the data is well styled, I can compose the map deliverable. QGIS has a print composer for designing maps. To open this, simply go to Project, New Print Composer. It'll prompt you for a name for your composer. Type that in, click OK, and the composer opens. The main window shows the piece of paper upon which the map will be designed. There are buttons along the left-hand side for adding various map elements, such as the map body, images, text, scale bar, north arrow, etc. Across the top are buttons for navigating within the map composition and buttons for manipulating graphic objects such as grouping and ungrouping. On the Composition tab, I can specify details about the overall composition. Here I'll set the presets to ANSI A letter with an orientation of landscape and an export resolution of 300 dpi. These are listed as map requirements at the beginning of the lab. Now using the Add Map button, I'll drag a box on the map composition where I'd like the map to go. Remembering that I'd like to leave a little space at the top for a title and a little room on the right for the legend. The map object can be resized after it's added by selecting it and using the handles around the perimeter to resize. So if I feel I need a little more room at the top for my title here, I can simply grab that graphic handle and shift this map object down a little bit. Each item added to the map canvas becomes a graphic object in this way that can be fur further manipulated, if selected, by the item properties on the right hand side. Generally, the map will look as it does within QGIS Desktop. However, I may need to change the map extent in QGIS, go back to the Print Composer, select the map object, and go to the Item Properties tab and choose Update Preview. For example, I can open QGIS Desktop, bring that back up, and I can shift my map a little bit. Go back to my Composer and click on Update Preview to see the map shift. I can also use this button set to map canvas extent to sometimes update the map composition. If the map extent is still not quite right, I can use the move item content. I can use this button here and I can use this to pan the map composition within the frame that it's in. It's normal to have some back and forth with QGIS desktop in the print composer before getting the map extent just right. Now I'll add the title by using the Add New Label tool. I'll click where I want the title to go. Now I can resize the title box by using the graphic handles. I'll use the item properties to type in the title. I'll click the font button to change the font to the desired one at the beginning of the lab, which was Times New Roman, with a font size of 36, and bold text. I can then use the alignment tools to give this title a center horizontal alignment. Now I'll add the legend. I'll use the Add Legend tool and click on the right hand side of my map composition. Again, I can adjust this, which in this case may also mean going back in and adjusting my map extent. This is all part of crafting a map, is adjusting the graphic objects so that you get a nice composition in the end. There's some editing to be done to the legend. The uppermost Western States layer doesn't need to appear in the legend, nor does Mexico. Western States is there purely for cartographic reasons. Mexico doesn't appear on the map. Furthermore, the land ownership classes should be spelled out for the map reader. To delete the unnecessary layers, I'll select the layer and click the Delete button. So I'll go to the Item Properties, choose that Western States layer that's not necessary, click Delete. I'll select Mexico and click Delete, and you'll see those are removed from the legend. For federal land ownership, all these land ownership classes should be spelled out so I'll expand Federal Land Ownership, and I'll select the BLM class, and click the Edit button. Now I can go in and change that text.
click OK. You'll do this for the other land ownership classes as well. The final map will look something like this. The data sources was added with the Add Labels button. And the neat line, this black box that frames the composition, was added with the Add Rectangle tool. When my composition is complete, I'll export it with the Export as Image button. Simply find my Lab 4 folder, give my map a name, and export it. And it will be exported with the 300 dpi resolution that you specified in your composition tab earlier. In this lab, you've created a well-designed map using some of the cartography tools available in QGIS Desktop. You created a map highlighting federal land ownership within sage-grouse habitat for a client. This involved styling layers, styling layers by categorical attributes, and crafting a map composition.